Hi, and welcome to another Radan technical video. This month's video looks at the typical process to map tools and materials between the Radban press brake programming software and press brake machine controllers. The Radban tool database stores the definitions of all available punches, dies, adapters, and clamping systems. You can only use the tools in Radban that have been defined in the Radban tool database. Similarly, the material database stores the definitions of all available materials, and they can only be used in Radban if they have been defined in the Radban material database. Radban mapping tables provide the ability to match the definitions of tools and materials to the same definitions on the press brake controller. Mapping is required of any defined tool profiles or materials within Radban in order to generate machine code from Radban that will run on the press brake. Adding tool profiles and materials and mapping tool profiles and materials to the press brake controller is done through the tool and material database editor. The tool and material database editor can be accessed from within Radban or through the standalone application option from the window start menu. The standalone option tool database editor is found in the Radan software folder of the Windows menu. The tool and material database editor usually launches in full screen mode but can be resized to your preference. Within the database are the options to add or edit tool profiles and materials as well as the option to create mappings. If you start the tool and materials standalone editor you will need to open up the specific press brake machine database you wish to work with. After selecting a database, any tools or materials currently defined with that machine's database are listed. The Tables pull-down menu allows changing between the different tool types or the material database. The Mapping Tables menu has options for creating, editing, and deleting punch, die, or material mapping tables. If you have Radban running, the Tool and Material Database Editor can be accessed from either the Text-Based Tools pull-down menu or the Tool Icon pull-down menu. Selecting the Start Tool Editor does just that. Punch and die profiles are defined by a name or number in the controller. In order to get the correct punch or die to output to any NC code and the correct punch or die properties used in any calculations, the Radban tool profile names must be mapped to their equivalent definitions in the controller. This is done in mapping tables. Let's walk through the process in Radban. From within Radban, I'll launch the tool editor. If I select a punch tool profile, and then select the tab on the right list called by the mapping table along with the tool database name. You can see the punch profile selected has a name number on the controller value as well as an indication that it is mapped. Now notice the next tool profile selected has an empty mapping table list. Moving the cursor over the right list activates that list and the action buttons below the tool silhouette configure for that activated list. Selecting the new button lets me create a new mapping for the selected tool profile. Entering a controller name for the tool profile and picking the save button will write the mapping to the tool database and Radban can then compile accurate code for this tool profile for the active press brake configuration. It should be noted that many controller models do not recognize adapters. In that case, if a punch is used in combination with an adapter in Radbin, you probably need to select a different punch number in the controller, one that is equivalent to the combined punch and adapter. This is because the combination of punch and adapter has different punch properties to the punch on its own, in particular working height. So in the Radbin tool database, adapter profiles are often assigned to punch or die profiles they will be used with. 
Usually there is one punch or die profile mapping table for each press break, but you can use one mapping table for multiple press breaks if the punches and dies on their controllers are defined identically. In other words, they must have the same tool number and tool properties on all machines. Similar to punch and die profiles, materials are defined by a name or a number in the controller also. In order to get the correct material properties used in any calculations, the RADBEM material names must be mapped to their equivalent definitions in the controller. This is done in mapping tables. And also similar to tool profiles, there is usually just one material mapping table for each press break. But you can use one mapping table for multiple breaks if the materials on their controllers are defined identically. In other words, they must have the same material name or number and material properties on all machines. Let's map a material in RADBEN. Back in RADBEN, the tool material editor is still running, so I'll switch over to the material database by selecting material from the tables menu. If I select a material from the list on the left, the mapping definition is listed on the right side of the dialog and you can see that the material selected has a name number on controller value as well as an indication that it is mapped. When I select mild steel A36 notice the material table name number column list is empty. Moving the cursor over the right list activates that list and the action buttons for the activated list. Selecting the new button lets me create a new mapping for the selected material. Entering a controller name for the material and picking the save button will write the mapping to the material database and Radbin can then compile accurate code for this material to the controller on the press break. So mapping tool profiles and material definitions is the required process that defines the names used in Radbin with the names set on the press break controller. Creating these mappings is quick and easy to do right from the RADBEN Tool Material Editor. Thanks for watching this tech video and stay tuned for more videos from the Radan Resource Newsletter.